A 73-year-old male was referred for treatment of esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. After performing iodine staining to identify the margin of the lesions, marking dots for the incision were placed outside the margin with a flex knife. An electrosurgical current generator was set at 80 watts in soft coagulation mode effect 5. After marking, sodium theosulfate solution was sprayed to relieve symptoms caused by the iodine solution applied previously. After a small caliber tip transparent hood was fitted onto the tip of the endoscope, sodium hyaluronate solution was injected into the submucosal layer. After sufficient injection of solution, mucosal incision was performed with the flex knife, which was set to about 2 mm in length. For this procedure, the electrosurgical generator output was set at duration 2 and interval 3 of endocut 1, effect 1. Firstly, lateral margins outside the tumor were incised. Secondly, the distal end and finally the proximal end were incised. Then the submucosal dissection was started with the rotation of the endoscope. The small caliber tip transparent hood attached to the endoscope tip was inserted into the thickened submucosal layer to maintain a satisfactory view. Using the small caliber tip transparent hood, the submucosal layer could be dissected safely while in constant view. The submucosal dissection proceeds. We can see the muscular layer on the right-hand side. Using a water jet system, a clear field can be obtained during the submucosal dissection. During dissection of the submucosal layer, the flex knife was set to about 1 mm in length and the electrosurgical generator output was set at 20 watts in swift coagulation mode, effect 3. The submucosal dissection was performed step by step. Using a small caliber transparent hood, we can see the submucosal layer and move the knife in any direction. We do not have to cut the submucosal layer. All we have to do is to touch the submucosal layer with the knife because the submucosal layer is always stretched by the small caliber transparent hood. This is the final step of the endoscopic submucosal dissection. The tumor was resected without any complications with a procedural time of 150 minutes. Pathologically, the resected tumor was an intraepithelial esophageal squamous cell carcinoma with negative lateral and vertical margins. There was no recurrence for 30 months after the endoscopic submucosal dissection.